All right, guys, we're making shrimp scampi. Real quick one, it's around the holidays. Happy holidays. Uh, let me show you what's going on here. Uh, here's what we have, this is a quick one, okay? Uh, we're gonna do it with linguine, okay? So we got, uh, that's just a bag of shrimp, about two pounds. I peeled the vein, took the tail off, a pound of pasta. Uh, I got a lemon, a shallot, uh, five cloves of garlic, sliced, a bunch of parsley, one stick of butter, salt, pepper, white wine, extra virgin olive oil. I took uh, a thing of chicken stock. This is a little chef hack here. I took a thing of chicken stock. I took the uh, shrimp shells, and to give it a little more flavor, I took the shells, poured the chicken stock over it, and I'm gonna simmer that for you know 15 minutes just to get some flavor. It's gonna give it a nice, really shrimpy flavor, but you could just use regular chicken stock if you want. And then I got my water boiling for my pasta. Okay, be back in a second. Okay, uh, our water's boiling here. Okay. We're going to salt it. I salt it right before, always salt it. Uh, that's what happened to our shrimp here and our juice. It's perfect. It's like 10 minutes or so. Uh, what am I gonna do? Okay, I have one hand here, so I'm gonna throw a pasta in there. Okay. It's gonna take about 10. That's gonna take about 10 minutes. And then we have our pan here. Let's open up this olive oil here. One hand is really hard. Okay, a little olive oil in the pan. Decent amount, actually. Okay. Then I'm going to throw our garlic in the pan. So we start sizzling. All of it. It's a really garlicky dish. Okay. And then, on top of that, I'm going to add our shrimp. A second. I'm just going to wait two seconds so that I start to brown. That's our pasta. You don't have to. Just a touch. I put the pasta in and then start making it. And the important part here is to make sure that the garlic browns. Very important that the garlic browns. That's going to be the deep, rich flavor, that garlic -y flavor that you're going to get. It starts to brown there on the edges. That's when I know to put the shrimp in. It'll still brown. So what I do is I'm going to add just a just a touch. I'm making this for somebody else. So just a touch of the flake. Add my peeled and deranged shrimp. Oops, that in. This is when I add my shallot. I don't want to get any color on my salad. Just going to extract some flavor from it. If you don't have a shallot, you can use an onion or salt. Touch of pepper. And it's up. We're gonna go right from here to here, like we did in the other videos. We're gonna use a little bit of the pasta water. <coughs> we back for about um, three minutes or so. Uh, pasta's still going, it's got another three or four minutes. So what I'm gonna do now is add some wine. I would say about a cup and a half of wine. I got this wine here, uh, about a cup and a half of wine. Make sure the pan's nice and hot, it's sizzling. Wine, and you're gonna let that reduce a little bit until the wine's almost gone. Okay. I'm gonna squeeze a lemon in there. Do this one-handed here. I use this so I should do that. So I don't get any seeds. Squeeze a whole lemon.
and we need this to reduce a little bit. I'm actually, what I like to do is pull the shrimp out for a second so they don't get overcooked, reduce this down a little bit, um, and then add a little bit of this stock here. Um, and it really, you, know, you could leave the shrimp in there if that's a pain in the butt, but I like to do it that way. This way the shrimp are nice and tender. And that's what I'm gonna do, okay? That's what I just did. I pulled the shrimp out just for a couple minutes. This way I can reduce that down. Plus it's got another two minutes. See how it's reduced down? Okay. Then I'm going to add some of this stock here. I'm not getting any shells in there. Now, I need more broth because I'm doing a pound of pasta. Right? So I need to make this really brothy. Normally I would use a strainer, but I got the shrimp in it. Not bad. Okay. That was about, I would say, two cups. Maybe, yeah, about two cups, a cup and a half. Okay. Can't really mess this up. Now I'm going to bring that to a boil, and I'm going to hit it with some butter. Okay. Pasta's, I'm going to turn the pasta off. It's got another minute. But... It's fine. Let's see what we got here. A touch of salt. Okay. Now, here's where I'm going to add the butter. You can reduce this down just a touch. But I'm going to add the butter now. Now, a little, another chef hack here is while that's reducing, we're going to add our butter. We want this to be emulsified, so nice and thick and emulsified, so that it sticks to the. Um, sticks to the pasta right we don't want it broken where the butter separates from the juice so what i do is i'll take some butter and this is you don't have to do this sometimes i do it sometimes i don't i take a little flour and i just need you see some right here i just take the butter and the flour like that and i knead it together it's called a beurre marnier. and what that does is it thickens the um the sauce a little bit it gets emulsified and you don't have to do all of it just a little bit just like that okay that's one stick of butter total and maybe i did half of it now watch i'll just stick that in there with the other butter watch what happens I throw my shrimp back in, the juice that was in the bowl with the shrimp. Let's see how it's going to start to thicken up in just one second here. comes with oil, it'll we'll start to thicken. But it got thicker than it was, see that? And the pasta water's gonna make it nice and thick. I'm gonna taste it. Looks good. Tastes delicious. And then, again, like we always do, right from the pot, see how it's thickening on the edges there? And we finish our pasta. in the scampi so that the pasta pulled out a minute early so that the pasta absorbs the juice and that's what it would do if you finish cooking like that And that's that. Put it in a bowl and serve it. Boom. Shrimp scampi.